Wow. Smith. It was an emotional mm -hmm. funeral. I mean, you can understand how Megan, you know, clearly had a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. You felt like at, at points she was feeling angry and understandable, given some of the harsh words that, you know, were said about her father during the campaign. But others tried to take shots as well. Here's one from Jeff Flake, Senator Jeff Flake. He tweeted out. Um, this photo. Ask uh, decency wins. And he took a picture there of George Bush um, and the Obamas. Um, I don't mean Clinton. to make light of it, but I don't, you take a picture with Bill Clinton, usually decency wins is the <laughs> caption, just saying. Listen, there was a lot of fitting things to be said about Senator McCain. I have a lot of reverence for him. I appreciate a grieving daughter, a grieving family, like all of that is legitimate. So you look at it with that sympathy when you watch it. At the same time, no one changes their political view based on, I think, speeches and eulogies. If you're shamed into saying, how dare you support someone like Donald Trump or his views because John McCain was the, the standard bearer of goodness. John McCain was a good man who did a lot of great things for Absolutely. this country. We can also be in a different chapter where different tools and different leaders can take the mantle and carry forward what America represents. And I think that's the dissidence that existed yesterday. And it's curious, this it just seems odd that Jeff Flake feels like a funeral is a place for winners and losers. Sure. It's somehow he believes these are the winners and there's a loser somewhere else. And I also am struck by the idea that people like Jeff Flake, Barack Obama, want to tell us that the funeral yesterday was all about unity. But they didn't invite President Trump, hmm. they didn't invite Sarah Palin, uh, and they decided to take some shots. So is that really the right place for that? I think it was the place to celebrate John McCain's awesome life, awesome legacy. Uh, and I was struck also by Barack Obama uh, spending a lot of time in this uh, eulogy talking about himself. Shocker. Yeah. Talking about <laughs> John and I <laughs> both felt like America is the indispensable uh, nation and John and I and what we think and thought. Um, it's about the man who passed away. It's about his awesome life and legacy, not about you. I'll just right. quick, quick add, I, I admire his service to the country. I also admire his pro-life record. I'm sure a lot of the elites that were gleeful at some of the shots taken at President mm -hmm. Trump um, don't want to remember that record um, of, Do of, right. of John McCain, which was Well, he will be buried well. today at his beloved Annapolis at the Naval Academy, where he uh, obviously graduated from, and so a wonderful uh, and appropriate tribute for him today. Let us know what Absolutely. you think about his life and legacy, friends. But and as, as while, this, while this was all happening, 